Hi y'all, welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna talk about whether or not it's a good idea to write on Wattpad if you want to publish a book. There's so many people that kind of have their own feelings about this and they go back and forth. I'll say there are a few agents that don't like the idea of your story being on Wattpad, but for the most part, people are very accepting that you've chosen to put your book out there for free. As long as the book stays free, there's no problem. And so we're going to jump into this and talk about all the things that are great reasons why you can do it. And if you didn't know, I don't know how you could possibly not know unless you're brand new to our channel. If so, welcome. Uh, Spellbound is due out on September 13th, 2022, which yeah, we wrote on Wattpad and Wattpad Books is publishing. And that'll be just yet another reason why, yes, you should post on Wattpad. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you subscribe to our channel, you hit the notification bell so you never miss a Friday upload. <laughs> Wattpad has great resources for learning more about writing in general from other Wattpad authors who are successful on and off perhaps the platform. You can meet up with all kinds of people who can help you with your writing journey. We know it happened to us, so take our word for it. There's no reason to, to not join a community that can help you. Don't do it by yourself. The next good reason to put your story up on Wattpad is because you get to mess with your image. Not only your image, but your book's image and kind of see what is working and what isn't working. It is a forgivable atmosphere. So if you put up a picture of you and you don't like it or you have a blurb about yourself and you don't like it, no big deal. You get to change it out. Maybe you feel like, you know, the picture you put up with the horns and your black lipstick maybe scared off some readers and you'd like to try a or, different one. You, you can. not be a koala bear anymore. It's also a great place to stay anonymous if that's what you choose to do. But not only that, but you get to start getting a feeling for what really works and what attracts people to look at your book in the first place. What covers? Do you need dark covers? Do you need a light cover? Do you want something that has people on it, not have people on it? All sorts of things. You can change these things out and start getting a feel for your marketing, what your brand should be, and base your brand and start building it off of what you've learned on Wattpad. Number three is perhaps the biggest reason to do it. You don't have to put that post out there where you're searching for beta readers for your story. You can get them like automatically. That's what the commenters and the readers on Wattpad essentially are. They're going to give you comments and feedback as you post your story and they're going to tell you like it is. They're going to tell you if there's a plot hole and trust me, they will pick up on things that you maybe didn't pick up on, especially if you're a new writer. You'll be like, oh man, I need to go back and fix that they'll find that stuff for you. They'll point out typos. They'll point out like all kinds of stuff. You get those right there for free, easy, built in to the platform. And I know there will be Wattpad writers out there that are like, nobody says anything about my story. My question to you is, have you opened it up to your readers and told them it's okay to do that? Mm -hmm. For Rachel and I, both of us at the beginning of our stories in the past have put little blurps in there that if you see anything, it's a quick author note at the beginning, letting people know we put on our big girl panties today. So if you got something you need to say to us because you see something's wrong, say it, we appreciate it. So make sure that you open that, that door with your readers because some people don't feel comfortable with it. But I'll tell you what, some people feel extra super duper comfortable with it once you tell them it's okay. And you'll start getting lots of little changes you need to make mm. off of just spelling words, forgotten words, like all sorts of things. So make sure you let them know that's okay. Number four, it's a safe place to put your story and be able to edit it. I've talked about this in another video about the reasons, I believe it was a self-published video about why you need to take all the steps you need to take. That is not the case on Wattpad. You don't need to do all the editing and all the other things that you would normally do if you were going to publish a book because it is a forgiving place yet again when it comes to the edits. So when these people, when you open that door for them to let you know something's wrong, you can easily go in there. And I recommend don't let those comments just sit there where you didn't take care of it 
because there's people that just love reading comments. Mm -hmm. Like, they read the chapter and they read the comments. It's so I crazy. Do. I <laughs> teach their own. So... If they see that it's on there and you noticed it and they're getting ready, like another person goes in to um, to market, be like, hey, you missed this. And they see somebody else has already pointed it out to you and you failed to go fix it. I mean, I fix them the minute I see it. It, it makes me a nervous wreck mm -hmm. right away. I'm fixing it. If you don't fix that stuff and you're there's like comments there and the people are seeing that you're not making that it starts to look like you don't care about your story a mm -hmm. whole lot. So I recommend right off the bat fixing any any problems especially when it comes to grammatical stuff right away number five it is a great place to make writing friends and actual best friends one thing that you can do is you can meet people that you can really open up to about your writing journey and ask them questions about what's working for them what's what hasn't worked for them you can compare you can compare notes, you can compare stories about your journey versus their journey. And you might find that other people have got, you will find that other people have gone through m many of the same things that you have gone through. Writing is a very personal, very personal journey, but there are a lot of the same struggles from writer to writer. It's to me, a journey that I could not have gone through by myself. And I would have gone through it by myself if I haven't, if I hadn't joined Wattpad. Like, I don't know yeah. how else I would have gone through it because nobody else in my life, even besides, I mean, besides my husband who is not a writer. So that's that. Um, nobody else knew that I was writing. So I would have been going through it alone. So if I hadn't joined Wattpad, then where would I be? The next reason that you should publish a story on Wattpad is because if you have the talent for storytelling, you can be discovered there. And maybe not necessarily by Wattpad, but maybe by another publisher, maybe by Wattpad, which is really cool. Trust me, <laughs> we know. <laughs> um, but the best way to do this, if you are trying to catch Wattpad's attention, is to be looking for the writing contests. They're usually really short, anywhere from, I've seen like 500 to 2000 words, just depending on what it's for. If your story is good enough in that little writing contest, they're going to start looking at your other stuff like, wow, this was really good. What else are they writing? So it's a great way to get yourself discovered by partaking in all the fun little activities yeah. they have going on. on that's, Wattpad. that's what we did. We first did the one that got away thing, the paid stories contest. We wrote that story, got into the paid anthology for that. We won that. Then we did the, um, the the high school repeat senior year thing, and we wrote the story about COVID. Um, we won that. We won first first prize on that. And then we wrote Spellbound for NaNoWriMo, and we won that. And then after we won, that was a big deal. And then that's the story that they were like, hey, we're going to publish this. So that's exactly what we did. And I um, really... I really believe that that was like entering those two contests before that one. I really believe that that made a big difference. The next thing, Wattpad is, again, um, we keep talking about a great pace, place to learn things. It's a great place to learn about what is a synopsis? What is a blurb? What is a log line? These are all things that publishers, no matter who they are, are going to want you to have when you submit a story to them. So Wattpad wants you to have those things too um, whenever you submit stories to them for their reading lists or their contests or whatever. You can learn about those things on Wattpad. Ambassador accounts that run those contests want those things from you and you can find help on how to write those on Wattpad. I wouldn't have known what the hell a log line was. I mean, I know what a synopsis is just because I read a lot, but like yeah. I wouldn't have known maybe not even the difference between like how to write a blurb versus how to write a synopsis. I wouldn't know what the hell a log line was or the, the format with, in which to write it. The number one reason we think that you should publish your story to Wattpad, especially if you're a new writer, is for self-confidence. Those comments, even in the beginning when it runs slow and once in a while, just once in a while, you get a good comment in there. Like you might be especially frustrated because nobody's commenting. Especially then. But yeah, there's just that one person that comes along and they are brave enough to be the first one to start commenting on your book. 
and by the end they're like this was fantastic I loved it it was so great it is such a confidence booster and it gives you the drive to keep writing so it is so important it's it's scary to put yourself out there but it's so important to allow people to compliment you and we we just talked about this recently with uh people dealing with imposter syndrome as a writer you need to hear the good things mm -hmm. and you need to take them and understand that people really love what you're doing so you got to do it it's a great place to do it there is nowhere else that i know of i know there's other i know there's other websites that mimic wattpad but it is just not the same as that feedback that you get from a wattpad reader at the end of the book they just leave that one comment that one comment that tells you how great they thought the whole thing was it could have been quiet the whole entire time and just pop in there with that and it makes your day and makes you so excited to write your next story that's all the reasons that we believe especially for new writers that wattpad is a place to be it is a great place to start off at because you're always going to grow as a writer you're never going to be perfect at it and this is a community that will help you become better and give your story a chance to blossom the way that it should. And as always, write what you love.